All right, now we're going to get into this polynomial division. Uh, this may be a little confusing for you. This isn't going to be a full lesson on this, but I'm going to demonstrate uh, this problem here. And I'm also going to do the same problem using synthetic division just to make this uh, you know, impression upon you of how important this is. Okay. Now, if you think you can do this, uh, definitely pause the video and uh, you know, see what you come up with. Now, if you need uh, more additional help uh, beyond this video, I do have other videos uh, on polynomial division in my YouTube channel and my uh, Algebra 2 playlist. However, you're probably, you really want to consider taking like my Algebra 2 course, okay? Because I really thoroughly get into this. So this video is just going to be a quick review on this. Uh, but not anywhere near the level of instruction I do in my math help program. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. And we're going to start first by going down memory lane and doing this problem. Okay, do you remember this problem uh, or problems like this way back uh, when you were like in third grade, when we had recess, right? How cool is recess? I wish I had recess. They should uh, make that a law that even adults can have recess. But anyways, uh, let's see if you can do this problem here. Do you remember how to do a problem like this? All right, so what do we do? We're like, mm, okay, we got two. Can two go into three? Yes, two goes into three uh, one time. Now, hopefully, you were taught division, something like how I'm doing it. I know there's newer ways of, of uh, doing division, et cetera. I'm not going to get into uh, commenting on that, but less than the bottom line is you still need to be able to do this arithmetic. So two goes into three how many times? One. So then we go, okay, one times two is two, and then we subtract, right? Then I subtract, I'm like, oh, the answer is one. And then I go, all right, can two go into one? No, it cannot, so I'm gonna drop down that seven. And then I'm like, okay, two can go into 17. How many times? Uh, I think eight times. Then I go eight times two, that's 16. Then I'm gonna subtract, okay, just like I did right here. And then I end up with one. Can two go into one? No, but I don't have any other numbers to drop down, so I'm done. So I can say uh, two goes into 37, uh, 18. Uh, remainder is one. Or I could go uh, 18, and I could write this as 18 and one half as well. So hopefully most of you out there uh, remember this because this is called the division, division algorithm. All right, this is very, very important in uh, even advanced mathematics. Uh, in an algorithm, if you don't know that, it's uh, basically a computer program. Or well, not a computer program. Yeah, that's pretty much it, like a recipe. It's a step that you follow. Okay, it's like, you know, when I want to do division, I run this uh, computer program. I do these uh, steps, da, 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 da. So that's what you were taught. You may not, uh, you know, your teacher, I'm sure your teacher, like my teacher, wasn't say, today we're going to learn the division algorithm. You start learning division and you naturally kind of just follow these steps. Well, we're going to apply these uh, steps here uh, when we're dividing polynomials. All right. But now let me kind of just quickly uh, tell you why this is so important. Like, why do we even care about dividing uh, polynomials? We're taking one polynomial and we're dividing it into another polynomial. What's this even all about? Well, uh, this skill, what we're doing is kind of a core skill set to solve solve uh, advanced advanced uh, polynomial equations. This is really what this is talking about. This is the skill that you need to solve uh, advanced polynomial equations. Now I use the word advanced because I'm talking about uh, any polynomial over um, uh, second degree, above a, a quadratic equation. So if I'm saying uh, solve uh, solve this polynomial equation. All right, I'm just going to make something up here. Um, so here's a polynomial equation. It's degree four. If this is degree two, like x squared plus six x minus eight is equal to zero. Well, hopefully, uh, most of you will recognize this is a quadratic equation. And there's all kinds of ways that we can solve quadratic equations. We could use a quadratic formula, et cetera, et cetera. So if you're interested about uh, learning about uh, quadratic equations, again, this would be like in my Algebra 2 and Algebra 1 course, but I have a ton of videos on this uh, in my YouTube channel, in my Algebra playlist as well. So, you know, most of you can solve this. Hopefully you've heard of quadratic equations, but we have tools and techniques to absolutely solve this equation. Now, when it comes to something above 2, power of 2, like power of 3, 4, 5, 
These guys, well, this is a whole different ball game. This is where the real fun starts in mathematics. So this is really what I would classify as more advanced polynomial equations. But guess what? They're equations too, and they deserve to be solved. But we're going to need to uh, use uh, more powerful tools. And polynomial division is part of that uh, new tool set or uh, set of tools that you need to solve these guys. We don't really need them over here because we have the quadratic formula. Okay, so let's put this in context. And when I uh, have a title of like, hey, do you, you really need to know this to pass algebra? I'm not lying. Okay, I'm, I'm being uh, very truthful here. All right, let's get into this. And again, if you don't fully understand uh, this, that's okay. A lot of students don't, don't the first time. Of course, you can um, watch this video again. Uh, I've done other videos on this in my uh, YouTube channel, but I'm going to encourage you to check out my Algebra 2 course uh, to really master this. All right, now, here's our problem, okay? So we're going to divide this polynomial by this polynomial, and uh, I, I'm specifically using this guy right here for a reason, okay? Now, this could be uh, any two polynomials, okay? And so this works exactly like when we're dividing numbers, okay? We're gonna be thinking the same way, all right? But here's how it goes, all right? So let's get started. You can see I've done some work here. So the first thing we're gonna do is this. We're gonna focus on the variable x, okay? We're gonna focus on this part. We don't really care about this other part will come into play. So I'm gonna ask you, all right, what can I multiply this by, this x, to get to this here, this number, okay? So uh, what, can I, what do I need to multiply this uh, variable to get to 2x squared? Right? This is how you start these problems. So the answer is, well, what if we multiplied by 2x? Okay. So if I multiply 2x by this x, I would get to 2x squared. And uh, that's correct. Okay. So what we do is once you determine what you need to multiply this variable by this, uh, in this case it's 2x, now we're going to take that 2x and I'm going to multiply, okay, it's 2x is what I need to multiply x by to get uh, here, that I need to multiply x by 2x to get to 2x squared, okay. So again, I know it's probably a little confusing for those of you out there, but just keep watching. All right, so now that we determine that uh, it's 2x and I need to multiply this by, I'm going to multiply this 2x by this whole thing here, okay. This follows uh, what we were doing with arithmetic here with that basic uh, um, problem. I was at 2 divided into 37, whatever it was, right? So now we're going to take this 2, then we're going to multiply it by x minus 5. Boop, just like this. So when I do that, i got to use the distributor property. So I get 2x squared minus 10x. I'm like, okay, awesome. What do I do with that? Well, I'm going to subtract that from the polynomial. This is following the same steps as uh, what we're doing with numbers, okay? Let me go back up here. Uh, right here, we're doing the same thing, okay? We're like, oh, what goes into this? What, blah, 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 blah. We're kind of effectively doing the same thing, okay? All right, so now let's go ahead and subtract. So distribute this negative. This becomes a negative 2x uh, squared. This becomes a positive. This right here becomes positive. This is, becomes negative. And when I add down, okay, what happens? Well. The 2x squared, these guys go away. This becomes 0 because it's positive. This becomes negative. This is positive. That's negative. So I get a 7x. And then I'm going to drop down the remainder of the uh, polynomial here. Okay? All right. So if you understand what I just did, well, then all we're going to do, uh, that is the algorithm. We're just going to repeat the algorithm. Okay? So now let me go ahead and erase this stuff. And we'll repeat the problem again. All right. So... I got uh, 7x now, 7x plus 1. So the question is the following. What do I need to multiply this x by right here to get to 7x? Well, the answer should be obvious, 7. So 7 times that x gets me 7x. And I'm going to multiply 7 times this whole thing. And I got that work right here. So 7 times that whole thing gives me 7x uh, minus 35. So I'm going to subtract that underneath here, just like this. Okay, we're going to do the same step. I'm going to distribute this negative sign. So this becomes negative. This becomes positive. And then when I add down, okay, I get 36. 
and that is it because I can't drop down. So X can't go under 36, and so you are done. Okay, now, but there, you know, we got to write this in a proper way. So let's uh, recall some uh, basic division uh, terminology, vocabulary. All right, so we did polynomial division. You could look at it this way as well. Now, when you look at it in, in this manner, you're probably thinking of factoring, but this is division, but it's really not, you know, kind of the way you're thinking about it. You're probably uh, uh, correctly so looking at factoring and simplifying. But this part that we're dividing into, okay, that's called the dividend, okay, and this part down here is called the divisor. And then our answer is called the quotient. Okay, that's the quotient. And then when you write a remainder in polynomial long division, remember 36 was our remainder right here. Okay, remember our, our last part of our answer? That's the remainder, but you write it uh, over the divisor like this as a fraction. Okay, so this is an introduction to uh, polynomial long division. All right, now, again, I know I'm covering a lot in a short period of time, but this is important stuff. Now, let's go ahead and do something very interesting here. Okay, now this is, this is really the value of why you want uh, to learn this. So here, let's take a look at um, this part of the problem, okay, which, of course, is called the what? The dividend. All right, then we have the divisor. But uh, let's just focus on this, okay? So... Here is this part of the problem. Let's write this as a function, okay? Now you're like, well, where are you, where are you going with this? Well, I'm going to show you this, okay, here in ex precisely because this is really why we're studying this. So I got x minus 5, uh, and I'm dividing it into this polynomial. Now let's evaluate this function right here for 5, okay? What does that mean? Well, I want to find f of 5. That's what it means. I'm plugging in 5 into the function. You understand? Okay, all right, so hopefully you do. Let's go on and do the work. And obviously I've already done it here for us. So when we find f of five, we plug in uh, five for x, just like this, wherever there's x that we're gonna plug in five. And when I do all this, I get what, five squared, that's 25, this becomes uh, three times five, that's a negative 15, plus one, two times 25 is 50. So this is a negative 15 plus one, that's negative 14. So 15 minus 14 is 36. So f of 5 is 36. Hmm, how interesting. Doesn't this number ring a bell? Well, it happens to be the remainder over here. Okay. So there is a connection to this. So you're like, oh, that was interesting. So I evaluated this function for uh, 5, and I got uh, 36 which is ha uh, happens to be when I, uh, the remainder if I divide by 5, okay, or a polynomial where this is 5, okay? And now this is called uh, what we um, a linear factor. Now, this is just an overview of this stuff, right? I'm, I'm trying to make these connections. Now I'm going to show you another way to do this, and this is super cool. All right, now what I want to do here is I want to find f of 5 of this function, Okay, now this, the way this is written, uh, this number, when you have an x, okay, it's specifically an x, not an x squared, it's an x, all right, let me show you this right here, x minus could be anything, it could be 7. If you're dividing into a polynomial and it's x minus whatever this number is, it's the same thing as evaluating that polynomial for that number, all right? Now, what about if I had x plus 3? Well, we have to write this as x minus a minus 3. So x plus 3, if this was if this was an x plus 3 right here, this would be the same thing as f evaluating the function for f minus 3. This is extremely important, all right? So hopefully you kind of get the essence of what I'm talking about. But in this case, I already have f minus this number. I'm sorry, x minus this number. So this is the, uh, the value, okay, uh, that... Uh, is basically I'm going to evaluate this value right here into this function. So uh, what I'm going to be doing here is the same thing is as finding f of 5. Now, remember, I just found f of 5. All right, what is f of 5 equal to? f of 5 is equal to 36. So I'm doing this problem, but now I'm doing this using something called synthetic division, which is totally awesome. It is like, 
It's and it's actually fun to do. Um, some of you might think, oh, okay, this guy's definitely crazy, but um, it is really, really. It's a shortcut. All right, maybe if you're looking for shortcuts in math, this is one of them. Right. All right. So how does this work? Well, it's super easy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this number two. We're gonna plop it down right here. We're gonna just drop it. Whoop. We're gonna write it to you like that. Okay. So here we go. And now this is a little algorithm. Uh, it's called synthetic division. So we're going to take 5 times 2. 5 times 2 is what? That's 10. All right. Now we're going to add down. Okay. We're going to write our answer right here. We're adding. So negative 3 plus 10 is what? 7. Okay. We'll do this again. So it's going to be 5 times 7. We're going to put our answer right there. What's 5 times 7? Last I checked, it's 35. And then we're going to add down. And what do we get? 36. This last uh, spot, when we do this, this is the remainder. Okay. And it's 36. Okay. This is the same thing. So when you do synthetic division, when you plug in this number, it's like basically you're, you're going into the function. You're saying, what is f of 5 equal to? It, whatever, whatever the remainder is equal to. Okay. Whatever the remainder is, is what f of 5 is equal to. So f of 5 is equal to 36, but look how fast I was able to do this, okay? I could plug in any uh, number here to quickly evaluate this function, okay? Now, what you're really looking for is zeros, all right? Now, this is a whole other discussion, and that can go on and on and on, but hopefully you're pretty impressed with that. I'm hoping you're like, wow, that is so cool, okay? But uh, anyways, listen, here's the... Um, the bottom line. You need to understand this. I know it's a little complicated and uh, this video hopefully was a good introduction, but it by no means is it a complete full lesson uh, that covers everything you need to know about this. And this is stuff you're going to have to practice. So um, again, a couple suggestions. One, I have additional videos on polynomial long division uh, uh, on my YouTube channel in my, I think my Algebra 2 playlist, but my best math help on this would be within like my Algebra 2 uh, course. Okay, so that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.